Hi everybody, it's me, Corey Summers, your local Los Angeles luxury realtor. Today we're gonna to be discussing the city of Burbank. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please go ahead and click that subscribe button below as well as the bell for updates and I'll be right back. Hi everyone, it's me, Corey Summers, your local Los Angeles luxury realtor. Today we're talking about the city of Burbank. Burbank is a city located in the county of Los Angeles. It was actually incorporated as a city July 8th of 1911. That's right. Burbank is a name that if you're not living in Southern California, I'm sure you've heard of it because it's known as the media capital of the world. There are many film and television production companies here like Warner Brothers, Disney, NBC, Universal, Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, and more. Burbank is essentially broken up into two distinctive parts. The first part is in the foothills of the Dugo Mountains, so there are some homes in the hills, and that also encompasses the downtown Burbank area, and the flatlands, which is where the studios are located and where the equestrian district is. Now, Burbank has also its own airport, which has been well, it's really grown over the years. It's used for a lot of domestic flights. Um, a lot of airlines uh, fly in and out of there, Delta, uh, JetBlue, American, etc. So if you live in the Valley, sometimes using that airport is a good alternative to LAX. The grounds itself that the airport occupies was the original grounds that Lockheed used to build airplanes and all their advanced technologies. In fact, during the war, they had kind of like this stealth uh, thing going on where they covered the grounds, where they kind of hid in plain sight while they were building superior technology airplanes. Like much of Los Angeles, the city of Burbank occupies land that was part of the Spanish and Mexican colonial land grants. Uh, Rancho San Rafael granted to Jose Maria uh, Verdugo and Rancho Provincia. Uh, Dr. Burbank, which Burbank is actually named after, was a dentist born in New Hampshire. Hello, New Hampshire. And uh, he was an entrepreneur who purchased over 4,600 acres of the Rancho Pr Prudencia uh, ranch back in 1867 and built a ranch house where he grew sheep and wheat. This really is a huge part of what Burbank is today. When Burbank was settled in the late 1800s, the streets were aligned along Olive Avenue and the road to Coenga Pass in downtown Los Angeles. In fact, if you uh, live in Burbank or nearby, getting to downtown is fairly easy as well as getting to the west side. There's just a lot of little routes that still exist. By 1904, Burbank actually started receiving worldwide attention and notoriety for its own homegrown boxing champion, Jeff, uh, James Jeffers. Now, he became a major landholder in town. He purchased 107 acres and built a ranch off of Victory Boulevard. In fact, this was really where Victory and um, Buena Vista intersected. He, he built a barn there. And this barn, this is really interesting, the barn was later removed and reassembled down in Orange County and is part of Knott's Berry Farm. Apart from being a boxer, James was raising cattle and sheep on the farm, and he began to trade them into Mexico and South America, being one of the first American citizens to engage in foreign trade. So that's pretty exciting. Burbank's long history of filmmaking actually began in 1911 when Nestor Studios began filming on Providencia Ranch. This was around 1912 to 1914, and then Universal came into the picture also filming there. Eventually, uh, Carl LeMay called the ranch Universal City and they later moved. So when they moved, they moved to Lancashire property and they purchased three tracts of land, which was much, much larger than the old Universal lot located on Provencia uh, Ranch. So for those of you that have been to Universal Studios, Studios or Universal Studios, and done that whole tour, that's all the land that was, was purchased. Originally, that was over at Providencia Ranch and is now located at Universal City. Because of this, actual films themselves started being recorded in Burbank in 1920. So I'm gonna kind of fast forward a little bit. Burbank grew in leaps and bounds, was settled, homes were built, a lot of uh, boutique kind of, well, boutique cottages were built along Buena Vista to support the, uh, commercialization of Lockheed's building airplanes. And so they needed their employees to be close by. And so these little cottages were built. They're actually a historical area right now. If you drive up Buena Vista and you really notice how small some of these cottages are and how they have some unique 
um, exteriors. Well, this is all historical and part of that, and it's literally on your way to the airport. But Burbank has also experienced a renovation of its downtown area. There was a lot of developers that came in, redid some of those shops, putting in apartment buildings above them. So it's a highly dense area for living and shopping. There's still things happening in Burbank today. Most recently, a Whole Foods came in with uh, apartment buildings above it, directly across the street from offices that support Warner Brothers and Disney. So it's walkable for a lot of people. And there's also a project coming up with one of the studios. I'll be doing a video on that a little later on. We're about to get into a couple of things that I really love talking about, which is the homes in the area, entry level price, mid price, and the highest on the market at the time recording this video. But one more thing I have to mention is the original Bob's Big Boy was located here in Burbank, and it is one of the last remaining Bob Big Boy. It is a historical Bob's Big Boy, so it's something if you've never been to Bob's Big Boy, come and check it out. So this first home that we're taking a look at is an entry-level home here in Burbank. It has an asking price for $675,000. It's a two-bedroom, one-bath home at only 837 square feet, so it's a very small home, and this is located at 365 North Hollywood Way. This is again part of those homes that I was sharing that were built uh, to support the building and construction of airplanes. That's why it's small, it's boutique, it's, it's very unique and it's historical. This next home is a mid-price home for the city of Burbank. It's got an asking price of 1.2 million. It is a three bedroom, two bathroom home, 1,756 square feet on a 7,170 square foot lot, which is a good sized lot. It's been completely remodeled and the home is actually located at 1314 North Brighton Street. This last home is the highest priced home at the time of recording this video at five million dollars now there's not a lot of homes in burbank in the five million dollar price point there's not a lot of homes in burbank that are over three million dollars there are new construction really happening more and more homes in the hills are always a bit at a premium and the new construction in the flat lands of burbank that are closer to toluca woods also demand a bit of a premium but this home in and of itself is pretty special it's a four bedroom home five bathrooms 3,294 square feet, so almost 3,300 square feet on a 16,312 acre lot, which is located at 225 South Valley Street in Burbank. What makes this unique is this is actually on the original Toluca Lake. Toluca Lake was split in two. I have a video on Toluca Lake, so you can kind of head over there, check that out and, and get more history on it. But this is south of Riverside Boulevard. It's on a big lot. It's an older home and you can see by the photos that it needs an update and renovation. And doing so, you will definitely increase property value all the homes along the lake on this part of Burbank, as well as Toluca Lake, command a very high premium. So if you're thinking of where can I buy a home, put some money in and get a great investment out, this could be the one for you. I want to thank you guys so much for watching today. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch to the very end. And because of that, I have some goodies for you. Below, I have a guide on the city of Burbank, as well as relocating to Los Angeles. All you have to do is click that link below and you'll get that. If you have any questions, anything I didn't cover, or something you wanna see, please drop a comment below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, I'm just gonna say it one more time. Please take a moment to click the subscribe button, plus the bell for updates, and I'll see you guys next week.